Hello, Rosary Beach. It's Kanoa and Gerardo here from Baja123.com. Hi, Gerardo. Hi, Kanoa. Hi, uh, everybody. I, I asked Gerardo to come in and talk to us specifically right now because we're seeing that there's been an increase in prices lately, and the prices have given some of the previous homeowners some equity. And for those people that maybe want to cash out, we're wondering, is this a good time for them to sell? Definitely right now, we are in the seller's market. Right. Yeah, and so so people, some people might not even realize how much equity they have, right? So they they maybe they purchased four or five, six years ago. They purchased in some of our more popular neighborhoods, and I know some of them might have a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in equity right now, right? Right now, there is uh, the top communities, of course, have been uh, ones that ones that received more attention. I talking about uh, you know La Jolla, Las Olas. Um, Las Gaviotas, some of these communities right now has sustaining equity year by year. So, so some people might want to take some of that cash out right now, right? Well, they, they certainly can. Yeah. I mean, um, right now I have seen that there's a less inventory. Construction is going on in Rosarito. However, uh, right now we are planning to have new developments maybe in the next two years. Or so. When somebody wants this, okay, say they got the equity and they're going, okay, you know what, great, you know, I bought this as an investment, I want to get out of it, or you know what, for whatever reason, they want to get that cash out. What are some of the things they need to consider when they go to sell their property right now? Well, uh, the first thing to consider is making sure that they have the complete documentation up to date. Uh, they definitely have to talk to a real estate professional to see what is the situation because with equity, you can have also tax consequences. Capital gains. And you know, one of the things I found here is just because there's no like, there's no standardization that some real estate agents go out there and just sign listing agreements and they don't have those conversations with the clients. So they don't, they just want to get the listing agreement signed, but they don't want to give the clients any maybe bad news or come up with strategies prior to them signing that listing agreement. And they wait for that bad news to come later on down the, down the road, which is, hey, you got equity, you might have capital gains. There might need to be a strategy. We might need to get you in touch with some professionals in order to overcome this, right? Well, not everything is, uh, you know, good news. I mean, um, once you have this conversation, if an agent didn't tell you any of the other, you know, uh, news up front, that is a red flag. That's a red flag. That's a big red flag, I think. Yeah. So I think you make a good point. If you've signed a listing agreement and your agent did not have capital gains uh, conversation with you, you're probably with the wrong agent. Yeah, definitely. You have, I mean, uh, agents have to look really closely to the, doc the documents. I mean, uh, if an agent doesn't ask you for the documents, what, how do you own the property? I mean, those things have to tell you that really you are not, You're not with the right uh, understanding everything that is going to come at the end. Unfortunately, I have seen the scenarios. I even have talked to the local notarios and tell me that some clients get to the closing. I mean, after months of doing work and everything, and the transactions fell in the last mile. Or they, they dump that conversation on them at the closing table. Yes. Guess what? You have capital gains consequences, which gives them no time to strategize on what to do to lower those consequences. Once you look at the documents at the beginning, you can uh, prepare for your closing. You can see what options you had, what option the government give you to reduce those capital gains consequences. But believe me, when you are in the closing, it's, it's too not, late. It's not the time to have that conversation. Definitely not. The right? Time. And we also have some professionals that you work with that you refer off that this is their job is to help take a look at all the documents and see what the, what the legal options are for those clients, correct? Yes, when we are talking about the listing, I mean, um, I like to give good news. Right. I mean, I love to get good news, but I have to get uh, uh, you know, also the information uh, to the customer that what uh, you know they have to have. So the first uh, stage is to look at their documents and see if I see any red flags in there. And if I see the red flags, I definitely had a toolbox of a specialist that I can refer to so they can have, you know, professional uh, people working for them 
looking into the birth interest. And I think that's one of the reasons you have one of the highest closing ratios for the people taking listings to getting sold is because you, you're able to come in and take a look at the whole situation with the clients at the time of signing that listing agreement to be able to look at their paperwork, look at their tax consequences, get them with the right people to get any issues solved because you take listings that sell. And that's one of the things that you know is important because you go down the road with some of these people that need to sell their property. If they're dealing with somebody that's inexperienced, they're gonna be in a situation that they're gonna go through all of this. They could go, through, like you said, all through the negotiations. They could be going through home inspection. They could be going through all this stuff and get to the closing table. And it might not just be taxes. It could be multiple reasons that something, a red flag shows up that now you're at the closing table and now it becomes you're negotiating at the closing table and you're negotiating from a place of weakness instead of strength, which should be coming at the beginning because you already know at the time of signing that listing agreement what the challenges are so that you can bring those to the negotiation prior to you guys being in a place of where you're not going to win that negotiation. That is actually a great point. Um, if you deal with all the challenges in the beginning, when you have an offer, you are in a position to move faster and do the closing in a most efficient way. Yeah, and, and we're talking not only thousands, but potentially tens of thousands of dollars in savings by dealing with this right, dealing with professional agents, knowing how to do this right, and not just signing a listing agreement because somebody's your friend, or not just signing it because it's a big franchise, or, or not because, once again, not all real estate agents are created equal. And go and find the agent that's right for you, that knows the community, that has testimonials, that has proven, I like to say, proof of success in that community, in the city, you know, in Mexico, of being able to take transactions from beginning to end. And you're definitely one of those agents, Gerardo. Thank you, Canoa. Yes, as, uh, just to reinforce what you just tell, to be a successful listing agent, you have to have a support team. Even though I know up there are really good agents, I mean, you cannot be a one-man band and be successfully doing all what you need to do to represent that listing correctly. Our main goal in here in Baja 1 to 3 is to expose your listing up there and yes, give you the best results and why not to say it, and the best return possible for your property. And we know that once again, listings is such a complicated process to be able to list it correctly, to make sure the paperwork's right, to make sure the, the taxes are correct, to make sure there's no red flags, you know, to get that all correct. But that's just the beginning. Now we've got to actually market it to get it out in front of as many people as possible, to have somebody that has the ability to negotiate strong and to negotiate from a place of strength because they know what they're negotiating and they know the value and they know what they're doing. Could all be cost, you know, people either make them thousands or lose them thousands of dollars by having the right or wrong person representing them. And here at Bond 1 to 3, we have a whole team behind you that not only helps you, you lets you do your job, which is really be representing that client and lets us with the marketing side get the marketing out to as many people as possible so you can get people the highest price possible for their listing. Exactly. That uh, teamwork is the best way to get the best results. Yeah. Well, Gerardo, thank you very much. I really appreciate you coming in here. If you have a listing or you know somebody out there that's selling their property and they're in there, um, it's an oceanfront or ocean view property, I highly recommend that you give Gerardo a call and you give him a chance to review your property to see if it's a good fit for us. Thank you very much, Gerardo, Gerardo for coming in and talking to us. I can't wait to do some more videos with you. Thank you, Canoa. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you guys all. Thank you for watching our video. If you're planning on buying real estate in the Rosary Beach area, make sure to give us a call. Have a great day, everybody.